Hello friends, this is our last topic from the chapter superconductor and supercapacitor and the topic name is energy density and power density. As in a previous lecture, we have explained about energy density and power density of the batteries and the supercapacitor. But we have seen only just formulas. In this lecture, we are going to see in detail best. Friends, we are going to see the definition of energy density and the power density. Let us start with the energy density. What is meant by energy density and power density? What are their units? Let's start with the energy density. The energy density of a capacitance is of a capacitor is defined as the amount of energy that can be stored by a capacitor per unit mass or per unit volume is called as a energy density. I am writing here I have written the definition of the energy density. Energy density of a capacitor is defined as the amount of energy stored by a capacitor per unit volume or per unit mass. Correct? Suppose volume is 300 liter, then how much energy is stored? So, this is the definition of energy density. Means we have formula, we have seen in last lecture, energy density. Energy density is equals to energy density is equals to energy into time divided by volume, or you can say energy into time divided by mass. Yes. Geometrically, it can be measured in, it can be measured in watt hour per kg and volumetrically and Volumetrically, we can measure it. Unit is watt hour per liter. So this is the unit of the energy density. Now come to the next point. Our next B is power density. Power density. It tends like a power, like energy density, power density has a definition. I'm writing here.
Yes, power density of a system is defined as its capacity to do work per unit mass. Means power density is equals to yes work upon means kilowatt power upon kilogram means work upon mass work upon mass is the power density so as we discussed in last lecture let us see same things in this lecture that yes that is about energy density energy density is high it is high in the batteries and energy density is low in the super capacitor why because the energy density is directly proportional to sorry inversely proportional to the capacitance means if energy density is large then capacitance low so that's why in batteries the energy density is high and in super capacitor energy density is low now come to the next point let us check about power density now it is power density is high in super capacitors and it is low in the batteries because of the high power density super capacitor can generate sudden energy or emerge energy but batteries have power density is very low so that's why the power capability or power supply of battery is very low but you can say super capacitor is more times better in power supply than batteries so super capacitor has high power density and batteries have low power capacity so this is about power density and energy density so thank you friends